Welcome to session six of the CT Talks. My name is Amy Valdez Barker and I serve at the Connectional Table. As you know, over these past few months, the CT Talks have been about preparing delegates for General Conference as they read legislation, as they understand the issues, and as they prepare to serve the church through their voice and vote at our General Conference. As many have heard, both the Connectional Table and the Council of Bishops have engaged in hard conversations around human sexuality. They have engaged in Christian conferencing, through prayer, through worship, through thoughtful consideration of learning and listening to one another and to others across our connection as we have tackled the topic of human sexuality. As you all know, this has been a matter that has been before us since the inception of the United Methodist Church. And as many know, this has been a topic that has often been seen as an impasse as we seek to be faithful stewards, faithful leaders of the United Methodist Church. We are clearly not all of one mind. In this series of CT Talks, you're going to be hearing from two leaders in our connection, one from the Council of Bishops and one from the Connectional Table. Bishop Rosemary Venner has served as the chair of the Council of Bishops Task Force around this matter of human sexuality. Kenitha Bigham Sai has served as the leader of the writing team related to CT's legislation on human sexuality. She was also part of the leadership team that helped discern and articulate the parallel paths in which the Connectional Table sent the work of our connection around human sexuality. Both of these leaders have graciously offered to the church leadership that takes on these conversations courageously and graciously. So, Kenitha, welcome. Thank you. Um, Give us a little bit of information about the work of the Connectional Table's legislative writing team, this quadrennium, around mm -hmm. these matters of human sexuality. Okay. Well, in 2014, at our April 2014 meeting, uh, a proposal passed that said that we would engage in dialogue and also a process of emending the discipline to better include our uh, GLBTQ brothers and sisters in the life and ministry of the church. And so we formed a legislative writing team. Uh, we came together. We also had a, an advisory team praying for us, praying with us, and giving us feedback on our process. Uh, we had some dialogue over some, uh, the course of a couple of months. We came together as a team in January of 2015 at the United Methodist Building in D.C., and, uh, and we went through a process of really articulating our values that would undergird our work, really articulating what part of our identity do we bring to this work as United Methodists that would guide us in what we would do. And uh, we came together, we had some wonderful discussion, discussion that was bathed in prayer, um, discussion that was honest, uh, and we came uh, up with an approach. Um, what we employed was scripture, focus on scripture and prayer. And even within our process of working together as a team, um, my sense was I desired to have a process that would allow the Spirit of God to really work in and through the people on that team and to create an atmosphere that would make that possible, would make people feel comfortable, would center people on what is really important here, what is the essence. So I started with the Great Commission. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. and, um, and asked uh, the team to begin to reflect on the meaning of that scripture for our work as a connectional table and as a legislative writing team, and what it meant to the mission uh, of our denomination. And it was, um, it was an interesting discussion, time of discussion, time of prayer. And I think it was a time of really centering ourselves on the importance of our mission. Um, as a result of that centering, we decided to articulate some key values and centrality of the mission. 
was a key value. It's a, it's a value within our denomination that no matter where we are ideologically, no matter where we are in terms of our opinions, mm -hmm. I think we all care about the mission of the United Methodist Church. We're all passionate about and wanting to go about uh, making disciples for the transformation of the world. And so that's where we began, and that was a key part of, of our initial focus. What work has the Council of Bishops done this quadrennium around matters related to human sexuality? We have intensively uh, tried to focus on what do we do as bishops. We live, as the whole church does, with a strong conviction, God's grace is for all. Mm -hmm. And we have talked what uh, our uh, contribution has to be as mm -hmm. those who are uh, called to be leaders of the church mm -hmm. and to uh, guard the faith, uh, to uh, work towards unity, mm -hmm. to be shepherds of the whole flock. How can we mm -hmm. create space and openness uh, for all people in, the, in our denomination so that we can fulfill our, ta uh, our call to make disciples for Jesus Christ, for the transformation of the world. Excellent. We started to talk amongst one another, to share best, best practices, to learn how, how different mm -hmm. the context looks like mm -hmm. in the various places, mm -hmm. and to help one another to uh, see how um, unity in diversity is mm -hmm. possible. 